All right, it has come time to uh, make an exhaust for the S14. Here are my uh, components. Aluminized steel, um, you know, a couple of bends in there, and a couple of, uh, you know, bongs, flex sections, that sort of thing. It should go together pretty, pretty fast and easily. Uh, hopefully it does. The first thing we got to tack onto the uh, flanges over there are uh, these little pieces of flex pipe. They have a little piece of uh, uh, exhaust tube here that I expanded the end of because this is two and a half inch and it's going into a three inch uh, flange. So that's what this little expansion is. All right, now that those are in there, I need to figure out the position of my X pipe. This is just an uh, relatively cheap stamped steel X pipe, nothing fancy about it, but I have to figure out its position. Now that I have the X pipe suspended on these bungee cords, um, I have to figure out the tubing needed to go from here to there and here to there. So now what we have to do is basically build out tubes that are going to go from this point to the X, uh, the, the take two. Inlets uh, plumb to the X pipe. That is our, our main mission here. We take the rear section here and the front section here and we connect them. That's pretty much the deal. So this exhaust system will have its headers, its like mid section and then an axle back. Take a look at the mocked up exhaust. Here are the uh, ISR headers that goes into the uh, flex sections. That then goes into the X pipe. And then it just basically runs with just a couple little bends down here to the uh, V band clamps, two and a half inch V band clamps that then uh, swirls around the subframe here and to the uh, uh, muffler and rear tailpipes. That is how it's going to look coming off the back. Um, all the stuff's pretty tight to the body. You know, pretty good trying to get myself decent ground clearance. You see there's good clearance away from the fuel stuff. Uh, I think it'll sound good with the X-Pipe. They usually do. So the mock-up is all that I'm doing tonight. Um, I will actually finish weld and make the hangers and stuff for tomorrow. Uh, but that is, you know, a, a job well done for today. Okay, so now we are at the part of this where we 
uh, just finish weld everything. Uh, I have a couple of gloves over the tips here to uh, protect them from spatter and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll just weld all this stuff, then I'll flip it over and then weld the other side. And I'll do that to the whole exhaust and then it'll be done. Okay, so it's a couple hours later. I've been welding, as you could probably tell by how absolutely sweaty I am. And uh, I'll show you what we got. So this is the exhaust. Um, it looks exactly as the same as it did before I welded it, but now it's welded. Um, there are a couple additions to it. Namely, the exhaust now has hangers like that, like that. Um, there's one right here. Um, and I also added a couple of extra O2 sensor bungs. I don't know how easy that is to see. One there and one there. You add the extra O2 sensor bungs for dyno tuning basically. So that you can have your O2 sensors plugged in for your ECU, but then the dyno tuner can also plug in his O2 sensors uh, to do the tuning with. So that's just what the extra bungs are for. They have plugs in them right now. Uh, so let's put this thing on the ground and see how she sounds.